Oh yeah, we're going to go into the uh, final assembly of this 308. Um, before we put it on an engine stand, or before I like to put it on an engine stand, I uh, like to fit the cam bearings um, into the block and also the gallery plugs and just the rear wheels plugs and the cam plug. Just so once it's on the engine stand, you know, we don't have to pull the engine off after it's fully built and start knocking in wheels plugs on a gantry on a chain. It's just, you know, so we tidy up all the back end, fit all our other oil gallery plugs. I've taken every gallery plug out so we can, um, you know, I've hosed it out properly and washed, uh, washed it with hot soapy water. That's the key to everything. Um, what I've done with these cam bearings, the trick uh, is I've just gone over with some, just normal scotch bright, just some soft scotch bright, and I've just gone around all the edges, just from where they're packaged, they get knocked around and everything, just around the back. Also scotch bright, the, the tunnels, in here, um, just with the cam bearings, what you could understand is um, they're perfectly, you know, machined round. They're round on the outside. These are a Durabond one-piece bearing, so they're a very good bearing. Um, when you knock them in, they have, you know, a couple of thou interference between the outside of the bearing and the block. So when you knock them in, they slightly crush. So that does take up your clearance. Um, I've seen a lot of people over the years knock cam bearings in and then the cam won't go in and they've got bearing scrapers and they're actually scraping the hell out of the brand new bearing just to try and get the cam in. So just preparation is important, that's where we're getting at. Um, for our weights, they're, uh, in a way they must have mucked up on the standard blueprint um, with their cam bearings because for years and years you've been able to buy minus two thousandth of an inch cam bearings for them. Um, so, in actual fact, if they're fitted properly, um, when the cam goes in, you've actually got two thou um, tighter clearance, which um, one straight away boosts up your oil pressure. Um, it also takes out your, um, your play in your cam uh, between your cam main journal and your bearing. And doing that, because we've got a chain driven um, setup um, from the crankshaft to the cam your timing chain becomes a lot more tighter and your cam timing indexing is just, you know, leaps and bounds. It's incredible, you know, the accuracy you can get. Peter Brock used to do this in the, uh, the days of the L34 Tirana. Um, I'd say that's what Holden did realise that they had a problem with, with you know, excessive uh, clearance. Also Holden's renowned for flogging out camshafts and lifters big time. Um, I've, uh, with this block, for a just quickly go off cam bearings, but before I do, because not many people know this, um, the actual holes in the, the lifter bores, they're, uh, I'm just bring it forward a bit more. The oil holes there, they're all these little holes down the, there, there, and that's what actually supplies oil to your hydraulic lifter or solid lifter, whatever you're running, or any lifter, but that's where, you know, major oil pressure. So, as you look down from standard, the, uh, because it's just a hole bored in a casting, and you know eight holes each side bored in, you know perpendicular, um, they've got a tiny little oil hole on the side, and as it comes from the back, uh, the front to the back, all the holes in the back of the block were small, so I'm getting hardly as much oil volume as the front. So I reckon that's a lot to do with camshafts on holdings also flogging out because you know, they always flog out around number six and seven cylinders all the time when they run the cam so um, I've, I've opened them all up the same size and um, cleaned up the, the bore so the lift the slide in nicely this is all done in pre-assembly and uh, dummy assembly people like to call it so yeah um, so apart from the minus two bearings um, another trick I like to do too is in the front cam bearing I hold is the only one you've really got to line up the oil hole accurately and what I do is put a little V mark on, the on my valve facer grinder in the back of the bearing just pointing from the hole to the front and when that goes in it lines up with that oil hole there and you get a tiny little squirt of oil it's only a tiny little groove tiny little oil flow to your front th thrust 
of your camshaft and your timing chain area so that oils it a little bit. You've got a hole in this um, uh, gallery plug which is the thrust plate bolt. There's a hole in there too but I like putting it right at the actual thrust inside the camshaft and the actual thrust plate. So um, I'm not wondering now with these, I've made my own custom hand bearing tools. Um, over the years we've just, this workshop, over the years we've built a, a whole lot of Holden V8s, you know, the old generators, and um, Chevys and that. So we've made our own custom can bearing tools. We have machined them down and they've actually got O-rings there. With can bearings, you be so, so delicate with them. They're um, white metal coated. And uh, they, um, they scratch really easy, the coating. It's only a tenth, uh, tenth of a thousandth inch, the actual coating on top of them. You can actually also get bearings that are heat, uh, like race bearings that are heat treated. They look like they've been hit with an oxy torch and they're just hardened. Now what I've done is I've lined up that hole beforehand. Right, and I've just put a little white mark there to correspond with the block where it goes in. And a little tap. Right. Make sure everything's right. And the key is And what you want to do is just make just below the run of I've got a couple more slogs there. So just before you don't want to protruding because the thrust plate comes down on there. Then I can go a little bit more and our oil holes lined up there. Almost do it. Always, it's best to just tap and tap and check. We got there. Our oil holes lined up perfectly. There, it's fully open to the oil gallery in the block. It doesn't hurt to leave it a little bit there. That oil, you don't have to knock it in. Oh, you've got clearance at the back. And also, if we leave that little little area there, oil will sit in there and that's extra oil just for lubricating the thrust. So um, that's about it. Also, a little bit, I take a little bit longer doing can bearings, especially because they're minus twos. Uh, I like to go from front to back um, on most V8s and most engines. You get the front journals are always bigger than the back. So when you put them in, it's easy to go from the front, that way you can get your tool out either way. But there's nowhere to locate your cone on your can bearing uh, shaft at the front because of this um, oil pump drive shaft housing here. So um, I, I just spend a bit of extra time. Like I said, I now have to pull this out for everyone. It takes time, but I've lined up my cone perfectly when you put the shaft in the cone here and the back here centralizes it perfect so once she's all assembled it can only go in straight one little tiny tenth of a thousandth of an inch off center and the bearing will go in slightly crooked and you'll have a um, tight, um, tight can bar journal to uh, can bearing problem you'll chew one out and uh, there you go. We'll uh, get a cam uh, a little bit later on. I'll fit the rest and um, we'll try to fit it up and see how it goes.